years, you're going to run for president. I am going to run for president. That's correct. What's going to be different this time? We're going to win. We are going to also launch what I think is unprecedented uh, in modern American history, and that is a grassroots movement, John, to lay the groundwork for transforming the economic and political life of this country. That's what's different. Bottom line for me is I think uh, it is absolutely imperative that Donald Trump uh, be defeated because I think it is unacceptable and un-American, to be frank with you, that we have a president who is a pathological liar, and it gives me no pleasure to say that, but it's true. We have a president who is a racist, who is a sexist, who is a xenophobe, who is doing what no president in our lifetimes has come close to doing, and that is trying to divide us up. But all of your opponents will say, we've got to get Donald Trump out of the White House. That's not your distinguishing characteristic, so. That is not my distinguishing characteristic. I think what I am very proud of, and in, in a sense, this campaign, John, is a continuation of what we did in 2016. You will recall, you may recall, that in 2016, many of the ideas that I talked about, Medicare for all, raising the minimum wage uh, to $15 an hour, uh, making public colleges and universities tuition free. All of those ideas, people say, oh, Bernie, they're so radical. They are extremely American people just won't accept those ideas. Well, you know what's happened in over three years? All of those ideas and many more are now part of the political mainstream. So you're saying the party came your way? Well, I don't want to say that I think most people would say that. Is that your argument then against your competitors, which is I was Medicare for all before Medicare for all was cool? <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it, but it's no.